Okay, so now we also need to make it so that our uh, person, our elephant, can collide with these uh, top and bottom pieces. So let's go ahead and add a box collider to both of them. And if we click play, we'll now hit them. But we really don't want that behavior. We want to just send a message when we hit them. So we're going to make these triggers. And then we're going to make another script. And we're going to call this boundary. Boundary. And what happens when the elephant hits a boundary is that he dies. Uh, so let's double click this. Delete all this stuff. And this is going to be a void on trigger 2D on trigger enter 2D. Collider, which is a special Unity function that sends a message when something enters this trigger. And it takes a Collider 2D Collider. So if something enters this trigger, we want to determine if it is the player. And we can do that by tagging this guy as a player. So go back to your player. Go to tag and then tag him as a player. So then we can say if collider.tag equals player, then we want to do the game over stuff. But for now, we're just going to destroy him so that we can say or destroy collider.game object. Okay, so let's click, or uh, let's drag this to our uh, items. And then to bottom. Okay, so let's click play. And the message did not get sent because it's not a Hmm. Oh, yeah. It is on trigger enter 2D. My mistake. Okay, so let's click play. And there he dies. Awesome. And then we also want to have another way of determining if he gets a point instead of dying and we can use the same script to do that so we're going to use a public pool is friendly and we'll set this to false by default and then we also want to know if he's already entered it is entered and that's also false by default so when the player hits we're going to say is entered is true we're going to determine if we've already entered, then we don't want to do any of this stuff again. And then we're going to determine if it's a friendly effect or it's something else, like a harmful effect. Okay, and the way and what we're going to do when we enter this, we're going to go ahead and create another component or a game object, I mean, and it's going to be a GUI text. Let's go ahead and drag this up to the top. Uh, middle center, center, zero. Of 
20. All right, and we're going to call this our score. And then we're going to tag this score. I'm going to add a tag, call it score, tag it, and then in our script, we're going to say gameobjects.find with tag score. And then we're going to add a script to score. Create script score. Okay, so drag the score script to the score object. Open it. Save, unsave changes. And this thing's only going to do one thing. We're going to have an int, a public int current score equals zero. And we're going to go ahead and create a function called public void add score, which takes an int uh, amount. And then it just says current current score plus equals amount. And we have some error here, so we're going to fix that for now so that things compile properly. Great, even though this is red. Okay, um, so our score is going to need a, another a public game object. And it's going to be our, our GUI text. Our label. Uh, okay, so we'll drag the score into it. And then in here, we're going to say label dot text equals our current score dot to string and my model develops not working properly right now so All right so everything works still and he does not die right there uh, Let's go ahead and open back up our boundary. So if it is friendly, we're going to do, do, do dot get component score add score and then one. Alright, so let's go back to our scripts. Is friendly? No. Is friendly? No. And then let's add the boundary to here. And we can say yes. So let's quick play. Uh, Hmm. All right, if it's not entered. Okay. And then we get one, and we also die if we hit. All right. Uh, um, it's gonna be it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and come back for the next video. Thank <laughs> you.